everyone. Hi. Hi, I'm Kristen. And I'm Kayla. And we are Kay. And Kay Create. Create. <laughs> uh, welcome to our channel and thank yes. you for joining us for another video. So we are um, filming our intro in the kitchen, which is where we paint. Yeah. Um, we're just doing a short one because it's um, during the day and we're both on vacation this week. We usually pour at night. Yeah. Um, we didn't last night because we were so tired, so we're going to do it during mm -hmm. the day. And uh, you'll be watching us, hopefully, at the end of our Monday Night Locomotive, Locomotion premiere train with um, Julie E. from Acrylic Painting with Julie E. Lance Travis from Pouring Together with Lance Travis. And Angie Mason mm -hmm. from Angie Mason Fluid Art. So hopefully you will have watched all of their videos already. Yes. If not, please go back and watch. Uh, I'll have the links in the description box. All right, so Kayla picked out the colors today again, of yes. course. So uh, we actually picked up some new paints because we found a Blick store, uh -huh. an in-person Blick store yes. in Brooklyn. Well, we were yes. there for a birthday party uh -huh. and there was a Blick store right near the birthday party location and mm -hmm. we went and if we hadn't been so tired we would have spent a lot more time in there because they yeah. had tons of paint uh -huh. oh my gosh so much paint so yeah. much golden paint yeah. all different kinds we, mm -hmm. we picked up some some fluids Red fluid, um, they had a lot of paint a lot of high flow high, high flow, flow. yep they had a lot um, of different paint brands and we got some new stuff so we're gonna be yep. using those today yeah so stay <laughs> tuned um, we'll be right back and we'll bring you down onto the table Mm -hmm. See you in a bit. Okay, so okay. we're ready to go for our colors. Kayla's yep. going to be painting on this 11 by 14. Um, yep. Level one, back staple, thin edged so that she can yes. tilt it. Yes, right. always. So these are a couple of new colors we found. Yeah, so first you have Blick Studio Acrylic Metallic. Yeah, so we found this color. It's kind of similar to metallic cobalt blue. It's a little bit different, yeah. but it is very pretty. Um, I did have to add a little bit of water to this one. Our normal pouring medium is 25% Liquitex gloss medium, 25% paint, and 50% floral. Right. <laughs> I the knew me it. metallic paints can tend to be a little bit heavier and thicker, so I added a little bit of water to that one. Okay. Next we have Blick Studio Acrylic Light Blue Violet. Yes, this is a very, very pretty light purple, light blue purple color. Our paints are fairly thick today. Okay. Next we have Amsterdam Acrylic Titanium Buff Deep. Yes, Titanium Buff. Very pretty cream color. That. Okay, next we have Decoir Americana Decor Metallics Champagne Gold. Champagne Gold. Yes, Champagne Gold. I think that's the right side, right? Yeah. I don't know if we've ever used this one before, but it's I a think very we have. pretty dark champagne color. That one we I mix a little bit different. I do yes. pretty much pretty much um, equal parts of the Liquitex gloss medium paint and flow troll to keep it a little bit thicker. And I have found that the more, more flow troll you add to these Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics, the more they tend to spread and take over. Yes. So I try to limit the. So the amount. Amsterdam and the Deco Art we already had the Blick, and now that I'm going to show you Golden Fluid Acrylics. Micaceous iron oxide? Yes. Yeah, I think you said that right. So Kayla picked this color out. This is a very deep. Yes. Kind of, and it's like almost, it's grainy. Maybe I just used too much of the paint. Yeah. Um, but it's it's kind of grainy. Yeah, um, as you see, it, like. Yeah, it's, it's. It looks a little grainy. It is grainy, yeah. Yeah. And then the last. Maybe I used too much, but who knows. The last new color that yes. we have we're very is, excited about. yeah, this is what we're very excited about. Golden High Flow Acrylics Permanent Violet Dark. Yeah, so there's no permanent violet dark in the two paint or the fluid to be found. They had it in this 
high flow acrylic i don't know uh -huh. what makes it different if it's going to work it mixed up very nicely um it looks beautiful it's nice and thick yes. the color is great maybe i use too much i don't know we will find out how it pours yes so those know. are our colors now mm -hmm. kayla is going to do a dirty cup straight pour yes all right and we so just... four new colors two where we originally had yeah and we have <laughs> some white flow extender that's yes. just artist loft flow yeah. acrylic and white flow acrylic. i mix it the same way with the liquitex gloss medium and the flow trawl it's a thinner paint so it naturally comes out thinner so i don't really have to add any more water to it okay so we have a seven ounce cup i think um, we need about six ounces for the 11 by 14, so we'll fill it up almost all the way. And Kayla will straight pour it. And then we'll put the flow extender around. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm just getting distracted by the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Wee! Right. We, we put down a, paper, a plastic bag. We do want to catch our drips today yes. to save for skins. So that's why we have this instead of the yeah, this puppy is, pads. This is on top of the Lily Buffy mat. It's on top of the lowly if, vest if silicone mat. Yes. If we didn't have the silicone mat, then it would just be like wee wee wee. Right. But well, it sticks more. Yes, the, the plastic bag will stick to the silicone so you don't have to tape it down or anything. Yeah. All right. So how do you want to start? So first let's put light blue violet. Yeah, you want that to be your base? Like that, what you put in first is usually what you have the most of. Oh. oh, you want to do maybe Titan Buff as your base? Yeah, Titan Buff. Okay. So we'll put some of that in there. Probably won't have to add any more of that. Okay. Next, permanent violet dark. Permanent violet dark. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this in from up high, so yes, that it sinks yes, in. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that looks cool already. Yeah. Very nice cup. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go do that. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Back. Yes. All right. Go ahead. Straight so, pour away. It's time, and I think I want to go from here. Okie dokie. Is that spot? Three, two, one, go. a little off center but it's fine um, you swirl it around yeah. a little bit yeah do you want me to go from the outside and go in i think that's probably the best way yeah i'll start here oh that looks pretty yeah you like that mm -hmm. i really do okay I just let me torch it uh-oh Oh, the torch is out. <laughs> the torch is out? Yeah. Oh no. We have more gas. Hold on. Okay, good. Okay. Good thing we got more gas. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, and I gotta put the flow extender around. Yep. Okay. All right, go ahead, tilt it out. Okay. That permanent violet dark is just absolutely fabulous. It's just taking over. Like, ah. It's very strong. It's a very strong color, that's for sure. Yeah. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? My life was great till you added color. There's no pink in there. 
Probably the permanent belt dark myth mixed Mixing. with the with the Titan book. Yep. I'm sorry about the lawnmower. Yeah. We don't normally film during the day, during the week, especially because mm -hmm. we're in school and at work. We were supposed to be. Right, but we're, on but we're not. Days, so. <laughs> yeah. Is that is that how you want to leave it? There's, yeah. There might be a lot of paint left on there. You yeah, want to try to keep it that way. You want to keep it this way? Okay. All right. I'll torch it again and clean up the sides and bring you guys in for a close up. Okay guys, it's Kristen, hi. Uh, so I'm working on a 12 by 12 inch, a level three gallery wrapped canvas. I take the back and put the push pins in. Um, I think since I didn't get a chance last time to actually pour with the split cup, I'm going to use a split cup and do a ring pour. Okay, so I'm just gonna move my canvas to the side for now and I will layer my cup. So I was thinking instead of layering one chamber at a time, I'm going to do one layer at a time. So I'm going to go and put a little bit in each chamber as I go along. I anticipate that will take a long time. So I will most likely fast forward you, fast forward you through this part. Probably way more paint than I need, but that's okay. I'd rather have too much. Than, oh, this is definitely way too much paint. It feels so heavy. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, terrible. Look at that tail. I'm going back in. I'm going to try again. Oh, not much better because I think I st stuck my finger in there, but that's okay. Almost, maybe I should just wreck it since it's already wrecked. Yep, that's what I'll do. I'll wreck it. 
and work it right through there. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna put the flow extender first. I'm just gonna wreck it dry. But I am gonna come straight through that area. And that looks cool. Okay, and then I think I will come, I don't wanna go through the center again. So I'm just gonna do some curlies. Like that. And I'm gonna leave that, I think, cause I wanna open up those lines. That looks really pretty. So maybe I'll just come through here. And I'll leave that be. All right, minimal wreckage. Okay, I'll go ahead and put my flow extender down. Stretch this bad boy out. That's very cool. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, here is Kayla's finished piece. And I think some more cells have definitely popped up. This area with the permanent violet dark is beautiful with these big boulder cells. But I love this area. Beautiful, beautiful piece. More boulder cells over here. And some more in the corner. I think this Titan Buff being the um, anchor color for the Dirty Cup was not the right choice. I blame myself for that one. So sorry, Kayla. You <laughs> probably had the right idea and I should listen to your instincts when it comes to color. So that was mommy's bad because it's it's definitely overpowering the permanent violet dark there. Okay and then here's my finished wrecked ring pour. Definitely love the lines that I got. 
how some areas are more blue dominated. The center is very much champagne and that permanent violet dark. And then over here, we got some of that champagne. Love the 3D effect of the red spots there. Overall, I'm definitely very happy with this piece. Thank you guys again for joining us for this video. Uh, if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, and until the next time, have a good day. Bye.